Thanks for checking out this movie review video. This is for the 2019 film Yummy, and it is a Shudder original, and it hits Shudder on Thursday, June 25th. When I'm putting this video up, it's a little bit before it comes out because I do get screeners from Shudder uh, for their original and exclusive films. So thank you very much, Shudder. Anyway, uh, I actually, I'm just going to say up front, um, well, first of all, no spoilers for this since when I'm putting this up, it hasn't come out yet. Uh, although if, you've, if you watch this when you've already seen the film, it'll still make sense. It'll actually make more sense because I say a few things kind of cryptic for the people who have seen it and then see this. But um, this is a zombie film. I'll just say it straight out. If you've seen the trailer, you know that. It's not a spoiler at all. It's actually in their kind of synopsis of it, um, which I am going to do a, a small synopsis. But um, I'm usually not big into zombie films. And I go into zombie films kind of rolling my eyes because I think they're very overdone. I usually don't like them a whole lot. They just feel overdone. I, I feel like I've seen everything. But that said, I will say I recommend this uh, for zombie and non-zombie fans because there's a lot of interesting and new stuff in there, and it has a comedic aspect to it that I really, really dig. It's There's not a ton of comedy. It's not like a horror comedy, but there are some good comedic moments that, for the most part, all land, and that's kind of hard to do, especially in horror films. But let's talk a little bit about this. Directed by Lars Demisieu. Demisieu? Sorry, I'm, I'm sure I butchered that name. Uh, this was this individual's first feature-length film. There's a lot of that that ends up happening with these Shudder originals. Uh, written by Demisieu and Eveline Hagenbeek, who she actually had done a lot of TV shows uh, in Belgium, I assume, because this is a Belgian film. And I'm actually assuming that Shudder's doing a bunch of originals that are in other countries because in a lot of other countries you can get uh state funding for films so shutter pride doesn't have to give them as much money because they can also get a bunch of money to make the film in their country from their state from the state from their country so that's just a theory so anyway here's the small synopsis of it a young couple travels to a shady eastern european hospital for plastic surgery the young woman wants a breast reduction. Her mother comes along for yet another facelift. Wandering through an abandoned ward, the boyfriend stumbles upon a young woman gagged and strapped to an operating table. And I cut it off there because there's more to the synopsis, but I just I didn't want to go much further on it. But it is a zombie film, so you can you know you can figure things out. And that's not ruining a whole lot because first of all, if you've seen the trailer, you already know that. Second of all, um, there's a lot of stuff that pops up that's new that's surprising with this that's um good it's a good film so they actually one of the things i love with films they waste pretty much no time setting a really good atmosphere it's this kind of scary creepy dark atmosphere tense from the beginning which i really really like and then something boom like happens within the first like minute of the film and i love that i love those kind of attention grabs and then they you know do the title of the film and then they go to a more slower pace where you're going to meet the the establishing characters you're going to get a little bit of backstory on them and you're going to kind of work things back up i love that it's like the grab attention and then slow it down a little bit so it does that and it does it well i dig it and the characters for the most part are really interesting in this and they do develop to a degree not all of them but a decent amount of them kind of develop and there are some characters that you kind of like, you don't know how to feel about the characters, but then there are things that eventually form an opinion for you. And some of them very, very strongly, uh, which I enjoy about this. Um, when they get to the hospital, they actually switch from speaking Belgian to speaking English. So that's kind of helpful for people who aren't big into um, reading subtitles. Because in the beginning, it's subtitles, and then it switches to English when they get to the hospital. And that's probably after about... 10 minutes or so so it doesn't take long uh but there are a few more subtitled moments within the hospital but it's very very it, it's sparse it's very very sparse um the main plot gets moved along um but it doesn't seem realistic like how it gets moved along doesn't seem that realistic you know i said in the beginning of the synopsis like the boyfriend's walking around the ward and he finds this girl strapped strapped down and gagged how he got got there doesn't seem realistic at all to me. Now, that said, you know, 
you you kind of recognize that in the film and you're just like this doesn't feel realistic and then you just kind of get wrapped up in what's actually going on so it doesn't end up being a big deal but it is a kind of plot hole in a sense i guess because they set this in reality they set it in the real present world so it should feel kind of realistic and that doesn't feel real very realistic there there are also a few other small things that don't feel all that realistic with like what some people do or what some people say but it's minor um they did something with a character pretty early that i really did not see coming but also there there's an aspect of what they do with that character that i also didn't see coming so it's like they do something with the character i didn't see it coming then they do something else with the character i also did not see that coming so it was kind of like a double fake out type thing and um i liked it i i love that type of surprise stuff it's you know i don't want to go through a film and just be like oh this is what's gonna happen yep it happened now this is gonna happen yep it happened and this film did a good job of that where you really don't know where they're taking it. Like, you know what type of film it is and you know overall what's going to happen in a sense. But you don't know the details of, okay, they're going to go here or they're going to do this. They keep it pretty fresh and you're guessing. And that's a nice thing about it. And part of what helps with that, I think, is the fact that the audience and the characters don't know the layout of where they are. The hospital is a really good setting, not just because it's a kind of creepy place uh, but also, it's really big, and you never really know what the setup of a hospital is. It's not one of those things where it's like, oh, we're in someone's house. Like, we know what the setup of people's houses are usually like. There's a living room, there's a dining room, there's a kitchen. You know what I mean? Like, hospitals, like, you know some things are going to have, but you don't know the full setup. So it's a very adventurous feel as they go through, and you don't know how many rooms there are. You don't know how much they have to go through in order to get out. You don't know what they're going to run into, what's a dead end, what's not. So I like that aspect of it. There's a lot more possibility, and you really don't know what you're dealing with. And the characters don't, for the most part, know what they're dealing with either. And the, so you're kind of experiencing that along with them, which I think works for kind of keeping the tension up and the creep factor with just the way it looks. Um, there's a pretty crazy comedic portion involving the male anatomy in this that I laughed at. I thought it was <laughs> I thought it was really well done. I thought it was very funny. It's absurd, it's over the top, but it was done well from a comedic standpoint. So I was fine with it. Like it didn't seem realistic, but you can forgive it. Like outright just because of how funny and interesting it is. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I didn't think they would go that bold and that and that crazy over the top, but it worked. It was it was a good time. Uh, there's a scene of something non-human being re reanimated in this, and it, it only happens once, so I was a little bit let down, but it looks really good. It looked awesome, and I got really hopeful when it happened because I was just like, oh, man, that looks so good. That's so cool, and if we go down this path, it could be even better. It did, and it kind of stopped there, but, I, you know, I enjoyed seeing that little aspect. I'm going to assume it stopped there because of budgetary reasons, but if... You know, they want to make another movie. Maybe go down that particular path and make an entire movie with that. That'd be awesome. There are some real comedic moments. Yeah, like I already talked about. There's something they try to solve the problem. There's something they do to try and solve a problem that I've actually never seen in a, in a film like this before. So it's fresh and it's new and it's interesting. But it doesn't feel realistic. This is another one of those moments of, like, it doesn't feel realistic what they're doing. Like, maybe that they kind of give it a go and say, well, maybe we can do this as, like, a last-ditch effort or, you know, we're so desperate, let's do this. Um, I, that's kind of believable, but the there, there are aspects of it, just trust me, that it just doesn't seem realistic. It doesn't seem believable. And I was just like, eh. I, I think maybe we should move on. Because they also spent a lot of time on it. And I'm like, eh. Uh, there's a kill in this that's symbolic that I really liked, and it's kind of like a letting go of past scars and present insecurities, and I like when those types of things happen. You know, it's not just a straight-up horror film. There's a lot of, you know, good subtext to it and some nice metaphors, and there's a killing that is kind of metaphorical that I really do like in this, and symbolic, like I said. There's a pretty crazy moment toward the end involving something one character has to do to save another uh, once again, one of those moments I was, did not see coming. I wasn't really prepared for it. And I was just like, oh, wow. Okay. They, they did that. That's, but it's good. They did. I'm saying they did that in like a good way. It was, 
I wasn't expecting it. They went there. I, I like that they went there. There's some stuff in this that the audience knows, but not the characters. Uh, you know, gets revealed about one or two characters, and just they know about it, and then the audience knows about it, and then other people don't. And I think that ends up really mattering in the story, and it has a lot of impact because of how they pull that off. So I really like that aspect of it, and that speaks to really good script writing. Um, it just, it works very, very well. Um, and you'll see what I mean when, when, it, when you watch a movie, or you'll know what I mean if you've already watched it. There's plenty of the ugliness of people that's captured in this, which, you know, at this point we kind of assume that that's going to be in zombie films. That was kind of popularized with The Walking Dead, the comics, and then the show, like the ugliness of humanity. Prior to that, it was more about, um, you know, the, uh, the zombies versus the people. And, you know, I know you could definitely, I'm sure some people are thinking this, you could argue, well, you know, George A. Romero in Night of the Living Dead does show a good amount of the ugliness of humanity, but after he did it, it got more to like a base zombies of just humans versus zombies, and that's kind of it. Um, and then it became popular again, that that aspect of it with The Walking Dead, pretty much. So you assume that, but it's done well in this, and um, it, it feels a little fresh, to be honest. Uh, good, impactful ending to this film. And impactful in a few different ways. I mean, you'll know what I mean if you've seen it, and you'll know what I mean when you see it. Um, good impact in the end. It felt like the story actually mattered. And that's one of the things that bothers me about a lot of horror films is when the ending comes and it feels like the film didn't really matter that much. There wasn't an impact. There wasn't a payoff at the end so much. But this does a good job. Uh, the music in this is awesome. I love the music in this. Not just the composition of it, but the way they match it up with scenes. Uh, really well done. There's a dynamic of the older, of an older person, the girl's mother, wanting to be younger and more attractive looking, and the younger girl wanting to take away from her natural physical form to be less attractive to people. So I thought, that, thought that's a really cool kind of dyna dynamic to have in this film, um, and you see it play out in a few different ways within it. So I like it. It's, it's a nice, like, dichotomy there. Uh, there's also a point of society stressing not to do surgical things if it decreases your physical appearance, but being totally encouraging with saying, hey, you, you should definitely enhance your physical appearance. So this kind of makes that interesting point of this double standard of if you're going to use plastic surgery to make yourself look more physically beautiful, good job. But if you're going to use it to take away from anything, and you'll know what I mean in the film when you watch it, um, then people, you know, kind of wag their finger at that. And, and it gets said a lot in this film, like, why are you doing this? Why, why, would, why would you do that? So it's, it's, a, it's an interesting point. And it kind of gets to the whole, you know, society stressing too much about the physical appearance and not enough about who you are as a person, your personality, your, you know, your insides, basically. There's a drive to make the masses happier in this film by making them more physically beautiful, kind of like I was talking about. But there's a point made that it only really serves to make humanity more hideous and more destructive in a way. And I think, you know, a lot of that's done with the zombie concept, and you'll see kind of how that plays out. So I like how they kind of pair those things together. So for that reason, the kind of plastic surgery at the hospital makes a lot of sense with the zombie aspect to it. Um, yeah, and they just mesh those things well together. And it fits within the story. So this is a good film. Uh, I did not expect to like it this much, so I was very pleasantly surprised. So with a possibility of five stars with half stars in play, I'm going to give it a very solid four-star rating. I would say check this out. This is one of the good, quite good, Shudder original films. There are a lot of Shudder originals on there, and some of them are, some of them are actually like real garbage. Um... <laughs> But then there's some real good ones like this one, and, and I always look forward to the films like this. So definitely check it out. Um, yummy, good job. Oh, and by the way, the, the title of Yummy, I think, is kind of like a dual meaning of yummy, as in zombies find the humans yummy to eat, but yummy from the standpoint of, you know, it's another way to say that you look physically good. You look yummy. So I think it's kind of like a double entendre. It's a play on that. So, um, yeah. But anyway, uh, put some comments down here. We'll make it spoilers down here so we can talk about the film. Go ahead and do me a quick favor, though. Hit that subscribe button. 
um, helps me out greatly with the channel, and it takes you literally a second. It you know, it's nothing to you guys, but it means a lot to me, so I'd appreciate that. And if you are going to subscribe, or if you're already subscribed, make sure you hit the notification bell. That way, you know when I'm putting up new videos, so you can help me get more views early on. And then also when I'm doing live streams, because I'm doing that every other Saturday. And yeah, so uh, oh, also if you're already subscribed, just hit the thumbs up so you know, so I know that you're still watching and you're like, hey, I still like it. But thanks for taking your time and watching this. And until next time, keep it brutal.